हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू टॉप 100 मोस्ट आस्क नेटवर्क इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सीरीज गाइस टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस 65 क्वेश्चन 65 मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर नेटवर्क इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फाइव मोर इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन सो दिस इज डे फोर्टीन इफ इफ यू हैव वॉच टिल डे थर्टीन राइट गाइज दिस वीडियो इज really going to help you a lot for your next interview as a network engineer okay so without wasting our time let's begin first question for the day is what is port security what is port security guys port security is basically understand one problem first suppose we have one switch and there are multiple computer connected through this switch okay these are my employee who is working in my company suppose if a attacker will come in my company and they will remove this computer from this port and if they will connect their own computer on laptop to this interface now attacker is able to attack in my network now attacker is connected to my network right so to prevent this type of problem we are using port security right so what port security will do actually you can bundle the mac address of this pc on this interface so if this switch will receive any traffic on this interface from any other mac address this port will automatically down suppose the mac address of this computer is 0a and if i will bundle this mac address to this interface and if attacker will attach attach their own computer suppose the mac address of attacker computer is 0c now whenever switch will receive any traffic where source mac is 0c now switch will down this interface automatically right for that purpose we are using port security so you can see over here basically port security define layer 2 security or you can say port security is a layer 2 security you can configure port security at access port only access port only fine after that port security is used for limiting the number of mac addresses on a given port on a given port so you can limit the mac address on a given port as well you can you can um, bundle multiple mac address on a single interface as well suppose these are the devices these are the employee who is working in my company so i can bundle the mac address of this all computer on all the interfaces right on this interface as well 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 so this user can connect their computer can connect their laptop on this interface as well 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 but attacker can't connect their laptop on any of the interface right if attacker will connect their laptop uh, through my switch then switch will put that port automatically in shutdown fine now you can say port security is used to prevent unknown devices on the given port right definitely port security is used to prevent unknown devices on the given port okay now let me move on next question question number 67 and question number 67 is guys very important question vvi question right many time interviewer is asking this question violence in port security what is vi violence right so guys actually violence is what to do if switch will receive a traffic from unknown devices right if a switch will receive any uh, traffic from unknown device on any interface what switch will do switch can either shut down that port switch can either restrict switch can either protect that port as well right so that is violation violation tell us the switch what to do if the maximum number of secure mac addresses has been added to the address table and if you will add maximum number of mac addresses secure mac addresses in the table then what what switch will do or what switch will do if switch will receive traffic from a from uh, from a mac address that is not present in address table then what switch will do so there are three types of violation shutdown restrict and protect shutdown means shutdown is a by default by default violation right so whenever switch will receive a traffic from a non device on any given interface 
that switch will shut down that interface automatically restriction means alert message right if you will configure restriction on a given interface so whenever switch will receive any traffic from unknown device on that interface switch will send one alert message to network administrator to network administrator and last one is protect so protect mode if you will configure protect violation then switch will only allow traffic from secure port right secure port and drop the packet from other mac address right secure mac address you can see over here secure mac address right only allow traffic from secure mac address so if uh, switch will receive a traffic from um, uh, on a given interface which will check source mac address if source mac address are allow on that given interface then switch will forward that traffic if the source mac address are not allow right then switch will drop that traffic switch will not do anything right switch will simply drop that traffic right if you will configure protect mode so this is violation very important interviewer can ask you violation in port security as well now let me move on next question question number 68 okay so guys question number 68 is explain s pain okay so this is also very very important question s pain guys s pain stands for switched port analyzer as a name analyzer right used to analyze the network traffic S pen is used to analyze the network traffic. So S pen stands for switched port analyzer and also known as port mirroring, right? Also known as by port mirroring. Actually, what is S pen? It is a switch a specific tool that copy Ethernet frame passing through switch ports and send them out to a a specific port. Actually, understand with one example. Suppose if we have one switch, okay. and there are multiple computer okay and here is network admin this one is admin if i want to capture the all traffic of this user of this user right we can use s pen what s pen will do i will define this port as a source and this port as a destination now whenever switch will receive any traffic on this interface switch will forward one copy of that traffic to the admin right to the destination port so s pen is used to analyze the data or either you can use or or what you can do you can use wire shark to capture this data over here right you can use wire shark as well so s pen is actually network analyzer which we are using nowadays to send ethernet copy to a to the network administrator to the network admin okay so that's all for s pen right or you can see over here uh it is a switch specific copy passing through this interface and switch itself does not analyze this copy frame right so switch will never analyze that traffic switch will simply simply forward a copy of that frame to the network admin right it send frame out of a specific ports to the network analyzer right network analyzer means network admin okay the analyzing of this data is done for troubleshooting right yes definitely we are we are capturing data for troubleshooting only fine in fact you can also install a software network analyzer on your pc that is wireshark so if you will install wireshark over here and if you will capture this link through wireshark then definitely you will get the data of this interface as well so if i will configure port s pen on this interface s pen source right on this interface on this interface right so these are my s pen source and this is my s pen destination so switch will forward a frame copy of these all three interface whatever switch will receive on this three whatever switch will whatever frame switch will receive on this interface switch will send one copy to network admin okay that's all now guys let me move on next question question number 69 question number 69 is what is snmp snmp is also very important question so today's question all question of today are very very important right you need to make note of it 
okay you have to practice on it right if you are preparing for network engineer interview okay guys so what is s pen s pen stands for simple network management protocol simple network management protocol snmp is an internet standard protocol which is used to monitor and manage the network devices connected over an ip so suppose we are connected some routers switches firewall load balancer right and if i want to monitor that devices we can use snmp protocol to monitor that devices okay so different devices like like routers switches firewall load balancer servers cctv cameras wireless devices communicating using communicate using snmp snmp collects collect data from these devices right snmp protocol will collect data from these devices from these devices after that they will organized right and then send to the network monitoring or send for the network monitoring and management so actually snmp will collect data and then organize that data and then they will send to send for network monitoring and management with fault detection as well as isolation okay so this is very very important topic snmp definitely if you are if you are attending interview you might have observed that many time network uh, interviewer will ask interviewer had ask you this question snmp right interviewer have ask you this question and last question for the day is what is sys log right because guys you know many time when i was preparing for network engineer interview and when i was giving interview many time interviewer had asking this question right snmp protocol so snmp is definitely important protocol okay so now next question is sys log let me discuss about sys log now So guys syslog stand for system logging protocol which is used to send system logs and event messages on a specific server so you might have observed whenever you will run no shutdown command on interface you 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 get one log message right so log syslog is used to send that log message to a specific server right to a specific server suppose this is my router here is one syslog server okay so whatever log message will generate on this router whatever event message will generate on that this router all log message or event message will be sent to this syslog server if you will configure syslog service on this router okay so syslog is used to send log message to a specific server or you can say it is primarily used to collect various device logs from several different machines in a central location for monitoring and review right why we are collecting data log messages for monitoring and review so that's all for today guys in next video we will we will discuss five more important question okay if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribe my channel please subscribe this channel thank you thanks for watching bye bye